Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the gradient map adjustment layer to create amazing colour grading effects. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very, very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the gradient map adjustment layer to create amazing colour grading effects in Photoshop. Now I love using the gradient map adjustment layer and over the years I've come up with a few tips and tricks to really help you along the way. So today I'm going to be explaining all of them and how to create amazing colour grading effects just simply using one adjustment layer. So if you want to download any of the pre-selected photos that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description. But without further ado guys, Let's get started. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And what's great about using the gradient map adjustment layer, it works on all types of photos. and It's incredibly diverse in the way that it works. So today I'm gonna to be using this photo, which I got from unsplash.com. And again, guys, the link will be in the description. So what I want to do today is to create more of a warm tone to this studio shot that I've got. And what I'm going to be using is just one single adjustment layer. Instead of using multiple, we can just simply use one and it's the gradient map adjustment layer. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a gradient map by going down to our adjustment layers icon. And we're going to go up to second to the bottom where you can see it says gradient map. And what we're going to do is head press select. Now how gradient map works, it creates a gradient using the luminosity of each pixel in the photo. And then it will plot it between zero and 100%. So at the moment, as you can see, it's pretty much gone all black. And that's because it goes from dark green to more of a black color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and change the gradient or change the colors within the gradient to colors of our choice. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that gradient editor. And as you can see, the gradient editor dialog box will pop up. Now, as you can see at the top, we've got a variety of presets available. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna change it to the black and white. And as you can see, it has changed that photo into black and white because it's mapped the photo using luminosity and it's worked out the dark spots are predominantly dark and then the light spots here are predominantly light. So what it's gonna do is gonna map it between the dark black and white. But what's great about the adjustment layer is you can change all colors you want. And you can also add as many colors as you want. But today, just to keep it simple, I'm just gonna be using two, one for the left-hand side and one for the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply change it to this dark blue and orange. And as you can see, it's completely changed the dynamic of the photo. But as you can see, it's a little bit too strong and it kind of creates this weird kind of effect that isn't necessarily realistic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click OK. And then all you'll need to do is either change the blending mode or change the opacity. And sometimes you might have to do both or sometimes you can just do one or the other. Usually I find changing the blending mode works best. Now, depending on what blending mode you choose or depending on what type of effect, I find most of the overlay blending modes work best. So we're gonna go ahead to our blending mode options and the ones between overlay and hard mix work the best when it comes to color grading. And I find the very best one is called soft light. So I either use overlay or soft light. So I'll go ahead and select soft light like so. But as you can see, it's still a little bit too strong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to our opacity and I'm gonna drop it down to 75% like so. Lovely. So as you can see, the before and after, we've already created this effect. But what happens if you don't know what color works with the photo? Well, I've come up with quite a handy tool that you can use to create all types of color grading and to work out what colors work with what photo, because sometimes it's quite difficult to work out. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete that gradient map. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start again, but this time we're gonna start from the color gray. And I'll explain why in a second. So we're gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon again, guys. And we're gonna go ahead and select the gradient map. Now what we're gonna do is gonna to go to our gradient editor. And what we're gonna do is instead of using one of the presets available, we're gonna create our own. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the one on the left-hand side, which is the dark pixels. We're gonna go and choose the color. And what we want to do is with our hue slider, we want to make sure we've got zero. With our saturation slider, we want to make sure we've got zero. But with our brightness slider, what we want to do is make sure we've got 50. And what that will do is that will create a gray. 
And what you want to do is do the exact same for the one on the right hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and select the one on the right. We're gonna go and select the color. And then we're gonna go ahead and select zero for hue, zero for saturation, and 50% for brightness. And the code for this, if you want to use the hex code, is 808080. It's actually quite memorable. And all we're gonna do is click OK. So we're gonna go to our gradient editor and click OK again. But as you can see, it's turned the photo completely gray. So what's the point of that? Well, if we use any of the overlay blending modes, and these are the blending modes that work best with color grading, the gray will go completely transparent. So we'll go ahead and just select blending mode options, and we're gonna go down to soft light. And as you can see, it's completely disappeared. So now what we can do is we can go back into the gradient map adjustment layer and add colors to really see how they work. So what we're gonna do is go to our uh, adjustment layers icon again. We're gonna go to our uh, gradient that you can see in the layer, and we're gonna go ahead and select the gradient editor. But now what we can do is start adding in colors that you think might work. So we're gonna go to our gray. We're gonna go ahead and select that gray. I'm going to go and select the color. So we'll go ahead and select the color like so. So now what we want to do is start adding in some colors. So I think blue will work nice for the background and maybe more of an orange tone for the foreground, but I'm not too sure. So let's work it out. So let's go to the blue and let's add in a blue. So now what we can do, as we've got it gray, if we move the slider up, it will brighten. If we move the slider down, it will darken. And if we move it right, it will create more saturated, but if we move it left, it will desaturate it. So if we go ahead and move the slider right, as you can see, it's adding more blue. So if we move it up, as you can see, it's brightened it. And if we move it down, as you can see, it's darkened it. And then if we move it back to the left again, it's desaturated it. So what you can do there is really start mapping the photo depending on what color you think works best. So if we go ahead and add in a little bit more blue, something like so, and let's brighten it up a little bit. So as you can see, I've added it from the starting point of 50% gray, I've added in blue to see how it works with the shadows. So now I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now we've done it for the shadows, now we can do it for the highlights. So we'll go ahead to select the highlight section, we'll go ahead and select that gray, but this time we want to add more of a complementary color. And what is the opposite of blue? Yellow. So we'll go ahead and select maybe more of a yellowy orange, something like so. Now again, the same rules apply. If you drag the uh, color picker tool to the right, it will saturate the image. If you drag it up, it will brighten the image. If you drag it down, it will darken the image. And if you drag it left, it will desaturate the image. But at the moment, it's because it's completely on the left, gray is completely desaturated. What we need to do is add in some color, like so. Go for a little bit more of a saturation and we can brighten it up. And I think what I'm gonna do add in a little bit more of an orange tone to it. Let's go for a bit more saturation. And as you can see, it really is changing the colors as we go along. So we can really see how colors work in the photo and what colors work best. So for instance, if I wanted to go green, I could change it to green. And as you can see, it's creating more of a green tone. But if I wanted to remove the green, you can just simply drag it over to the left and that will desaturate it. And again, if I wanna make it darker, if I wanna make it brighter, I want to make it more saturated or I want to make it desaturated you simply drag the slider either right up down or left so I'm going to go back to the orange tones again and I'm going to go for more of a tone like so to really bring out those skin tones go for more maybe more of a red color I think might work best we can move it around until you are completely happy with the result and we'll go ahead and click OK and once we've done that as we can do, we can do the before and we could do the after. And wow, I am really happy with the color grading. So make sure if you're not too sure on how to create color grading effects, if you start from that complete 50% gray point, it makes it so much easier to color grade as you can start mapping the photo depending on what colors work best. And there we go, guys. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that's how you can create amazing color grading effects just simply using one adjustment layer, the gradient map adjustment layer. And I must say, this is by far one of my favorite ways of creating color grading effects. And I must say, ever since I've learned that 50% gray rule, it has completely changed my color grading experience. And I'm a lot quicker and it's a lot easier to choose the right colors for the photo. 
Again, guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.